Periscope. Good morning, good morning, good morning. We got Facebook Live and we got Periscope going. Good morning, Periscope. Let me get this earpiece on. Good morning. Come on in, invite your followers. Let's get ready to pray. Good morning, Missy. Let me get this earpiece in. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. We're a little late this morning. Good morning, Delaware. Let's get this out of the way. Good morning. Let's see, we got anybody on Facebook Live? Facebook Live. Good morning on Facebook. Well, good morning, Periscope family. Come invite your followers. Let's get ready to pray this morning. Glory to God. This is the day the Lord has made, and I will rejoice, and I will be glad in it. Hallelujah. This is a day. This is a good day. This is a great day. Arise and shine for the light has come and the glory of the Lord has risen upon thee. I hope when you rise up in the morning, you make your de declarations and make your confessions over your life. This morning, as you're coming on, let's just let's make some decrees and declarations and make some confessions over our life. As people are joining this morning. I am the righteousness of God. Mike and Cheryl, what's going on in Virginia? I am the righteousness of God. I am who God says that I am. And I can do what God says that I can do. So let's, as we're coming on, we're just going to make a few declarations. Glory to God. One of the ones I like to, to, to declare is that this enemy that I've seen, I'll see no more forever. Come on. This enemy, this enemy that has come up against you, whatever has been, been plaguing, coming against you, antagonizing you, I want you to begin to make that confession. This enemy, I will see no more forever. This enemy, I will see no more forever. Often thinking about Joseph, how Joseph, amen. I remember uh, thinking about Joseph and how Joseph Joseph was in the prison and had the encounter with the uh, cupbearer and the baker that he was forgotten about. But two years later, when they remembered him, that was the day that his life changed forever. Today is the day that my life changes forever for the good. Today is the day that my life changes forever for the good. Glory to God. All right, invite your followers like we're a little bit slow getting in this morning. Invite your followers, invite your followers. Y'all doing good today? Looks like it's going to be a lovely day here in North Carolina. I'm kind of, I got my, well, you can't, you can't see through the curtain, but I've got the, uh, look like it's going to be a nice day. The sun is rising here in, in um, Durham. I'm looking out in the backyard. It looks like it's going to be a nice a nice day looks sunny. Yesterday is the day that my life changes forever for the good. Yes. Come on. Today's the day. I expect great things today. I expect great things. I have great expectations. I have great anticipations. I worship the God that who, who does exceeding, abundant, and far above whatever I ask whatever I think. So today is the day that God will do exceeding. Today is the day that God will do above. Today is the day that God will do abundantly. Today is the day that he will do things even beyond what my mind has the capacity to conjure up as a thought. Glory to God. All right. Look like our numbers are trying to get up there. We're going to get ready to start praying. Uh, I didn't see too many people shouting out. Come on, those of you that just came on, let me know who you are, where you're from, real quick. Glory to God, and we're going to get ready to start praying. Thank y'all so much for being up, rising up early. I thank you for these prayer warriors, Father, these, these prayer warriors, these intercessors. Glory to God. 
All right, Long Island, what's going on? I think this is June Shepherd, Long Island. Welcome. Somebody's listening at work. Well, praise God. Good morning from Maryland. Good morning, Lady Dawn in Maryland. Marina says, I'm driving. All right, well, you be careful. We're going to start praying. Uh, Georgia, what's up in Georgia? I tell you, I thought this allergy season was over, but I feel something. Uh, this is the day the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice. Wait a minute, you driving and texting. Don't text and drive. Don't text and drive. I tell you, this allergy stuff is trying to bother me this morning. Oh, what's going on? I got some folk over here on Facebook Live. What's going on, Pastor P down in Dublin, Georgia, and my sister, Apostle Latanya Jemison. Springs of Living Water over in La Plata, Maryland. All right, y'all, y'all ready to pray? Let's get ready to pray, glory to God. Let's posture ourselves to pray. Oh, somebody said, I'm not driving. Okay. <laughs> but somebody said they were driving. All right, we want to be safe. We want to be careful. We want you to have divine protection to be all around about you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Well, listen, I want to pray some today out of um, Psalm 33, and then we will see what the Lord has to say after that. Glory to God. Uh, but first of all, I want to start in Psalm 32, and I'm going to merge these psalms together a little bit because I think it's very important. I was just thinking about this when I was coming down to pray is that we need to posture ourselves. Um, and the psalmist was saying, talking about transgressions and iniquity, I think it's in Isaiah. It says, if you regard iniquity in your heart, the Lord will not hear you. And so first we want to posture ourselves properly, make sure our hearts are right, okay? Uh, part of Psalm 32 says this, Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. And so, Father, we thank you today that you forgive our transgressions. We come before you with a repentant heart. We humble ourselves right now before your sight, O oh God. And, Father, we thank you that even according to your word, um, I, and, um, and John 1 John 1 and 9, if we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us, forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And so, Father, we thank you that you are cleansing us even now from unrighteousness in the name of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus cover us, cleanse us right now in Jesus' name. Blessed is the man whom the Lord imputeth not iniquity and whose spirit there is no guile. Glory to God. Rejoice in the Lord, O ye righteous, for praise is comely for the upright. Come on now. Praise is comely for the upright. Praise is comely for the upright. Father, I thank you that praise looks good on us. I thank you that praise looks good on you. I thank you that praise looks good on you. Praise the Lord with the harp. Sing unto him with the psaltery and the instrument of the strings. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you for minstrels that in play, that set atmospheres and cause the, the environment to be set and become conducive for your glory to come down in the midst of us. Father, we want to see your glory. Father, we want to experience your presence. Father, come down in the midst of us, even on our jobs, in our cars, in our homes. Let your glory come down. Let your glory fall down in the midst of us. Father, let us experience the weight of your glory. Let your cloud fall and come down and envelop our services in our prayer meetings, in our services, in our Bible studies, come on, in our leadership meetings, Father, in our team meetings, when we come together, let your glory come down and let it envelop us in the name of Jesus. Sing unto him a new song, play skillfully with a loud noise. Sing unto the Lord a new song, sing unto him. Father, we thank you that you will give us songs, prophetic songs, that you will give us prophetic songs, O oh God. Father, we thank you that we will hear prophetic songs. Father, we will hear the, the chords, the sounds, the notes, the strokes, that we will hear them in the spirit and we will begin to articulate them in the earth realm to bring the people into a, 
create a, a prophetic atmosphere, to bring them into a prophetic presence. Father, we thank you for that, even now in the name of Jesus. Play skillfully with a loud noise. I preached on Sunday about there is a noise. Uh, play skillfully with him with a loud noise. Father, I thank you. I thank you that, 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 that there are skillful musicians, there are skillful minstrels that will play onto you with a loud noise and cause the environment to shift and to change. For the word of the Lord is right and all his works are done and true. Father, we thank you for your right word. Father, we thank you that we will begin, begin to declare and we will begin to speak your right word. Let my mouth speak right words. Let my tongue articulate right words in the name of Jesus. And Father, we thank you that all of your works are done in truth. Father, we thank you that we are your workmanship. Father, we thank you that we will walk in truth in the name of Jesus. Father, we know the word declares that the truth in John will make us free. And Father, we thank you that we will walk in truth. We will walk in truth. And when we find truth, Father, let your light shine upon that dark place in us and let us experience the deliverance power of the Holy Ghost. Father, we thank you. He loveth righteousness and judgment. Father, we thank you that you are a lover of righteousness and that you are a lover of judgment. And Father, we thank you that the earth is full of your goodness. Father, we thank you that the earth is filled with your goodness. And Father, we thank you that those who meant for our evil, that you would turn that evil into good in Jesus' name. Those that will speak against you, turn the evil to good. Father, those who would lie on us, turn that evil into good. Father, we thank you and we glorify you. We magnify you. We give you the praise. We give you the glory and the honor. By the word of the Lord were the heavens made. Father, we thank you that by your words you framed the heavens. Father, I thank you by your words that the heavens were made. Father, I thank you that, that by the heavens, that, that, the, that by the word that the heavens were made. And Father, I thank you that as we speak and we declare, because we are made in your image and in your likeness, by the words that come up out of our mouths, Father, that we will frame our world, we will frame our environment around us by speaking right words. Glory to God. And all the host of them, uh, by the breath of his mouth, he gathereth the waters of the sea as a heap, and he layeth up the deep in the storehouses. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. Father, let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of your creation because you gather up the waters as a heap. You lay up the depths in your storehouses. Let the earth fear the Lord. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of your greatness, of your awesomeness at your creation, your creativity. And we look around and let, let all the world see the creative nature of God. Hallelujah. For his sake, and it was done, he commandeth, and it stood fast. The Lord bringeth the counsel of the heathen to naught. He maketh the devices of the people of none effect. Father, I thank you that you will bring all the works of wickedness and the counsel of heathen, that you will bring it to naught. Everything that would come up against us, that would come up against you, we thank you that is being brought to naught in the name of Jesus. That no weapon that is formed against you in your life shall prosper. No weapon formed against your family. No weapon formed against you on your job. No weapon formed against you uh, by demonic entities and forces that will try to stop and hinder your destiny. No weapon formed against you will be able to prosper. Glory to God. The counsel of the Lord standeth forever. Father, I thank you that your counsel stands forever. I thank you that your counsel stands forever. The thoughts of his heart are to all generations. Father, I thank you that your thoughts are towards us. Jeremiah 29, 11, I know the thoughts that I think towards you, that they're thoughts of good, they're thoughts of good, thoughts of peace to bring you to an expected end, to give you a hope and to give you a future. Uh, Psalm 139 says that how God thinks about us, how great 
are the sum of the thoughts that God is thinking about us. Father, I thank you. And even the angels would say, God, what is man that your mind, that you're mindful of him? God, what is man that your mind is full of the thoughts of man? What is man? But Father, we thank you that you think about us, that you are mindful of us. And Father, we thank you that the thoughts that you think towards us will be released in the earth through prophetic voices, through your prophets and your apostles, through your prophetic people, your prophetic evangelists and teachers and prophetic pastors, that they will re release your thoughts about us in the earth realm. Father, I thank you for an expansion and the increase of the prophetic dimension even now. Father, I pray that we will not cooperate in the low level of the prophetic, but we will operate in a higher uh, prophetic uh, dynamic in the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, I thank you that you share your secrets with your servants, the prophets, according to Amos 3 and 7. Surely you will do nothing except you reveal your secret to your servants, the prophets. Father, I thank you for the prophets. I thank you for your sons, the, your servants, the prophets. And Father, I thank you that you are revealing your secrets unto them and they will declare your secrets in the earth realm. I thank you for true true, authentic prophets. I thank you for prophets of character. I thank you for prophets who have uh, the fruit of the Spirit in their lives, in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for prophets who, um, who desire the fruit more than they desire the gift. That's, I thank you for prophets who desire the fruit more than they desire the gift. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good morning. Come on in. Come on in. I'm praying out of Psalm 33 for those of you just joining us. I'm praying out of Psalm 33. Blessed is the nations whose Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. The, the scripture says that the nation will be blessed if God, if God is your Lord. And Father, we thank you that you will be Lord over us, that you will be Lord over our life. Father, be Lord over America. Be Lord over the nations of the world. Be Lord over the nations where you will find righteous people. Father, I know that they're not entire righteous nations, but even... Um, as, as Abraham said, Father, but if there would be 10, if there would be, you know, if there would be 10, just 10, 10 righteous, God, be righteous over that nation. Glory to God. And the people whom have chosen for his name, um, for his own inheritance. Father, we thank you. I, we thank you that we are your inheritance. Father, we thank you that those who have chosen to name your name, those to, who have chosen to be bold for you, Father, that we are your inheritance. Glory to God. The Lord looketh from heaven and he behold of all the sons of men. Father, we thank you that you look down upon us from heaven. Father, we thank you that you incline your ear unto us from the heavens. He fashioned his hearts alike and he considered all their works. Father, we thank you that you fashioned the hearts of your sons and the hearts of your daughters and all and that and you consider all the works of our hands. From the place of his habitation, he looketh upon all the inhabitants of the earth. Glory to God. There is no king saved by the multitude of hosts. A mighty man is not delivered by his own strength. A horse is a vain thing for safety. Neither shall he deliver them by great strength. Behold, the eye of the Lord is upon him that fear him. Father, we reverence you, God. We reverence you and we thank you that your eye is upon us, God. Father, we thank you as you look upon us, you will let no, um, no mishap, circumstance, accident, calamity come upon us even now in the name of Jesus. To deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. Father, we thank you that you will deliver our souls from death. Father, yea, though we walk through the valley, valley of the shadow of death, we will fear no evil, God, because you are with us. I rebuke and I bind the spirit of death now, death that will lurk in the atmosphere and death that will lurk around your families. I, I come against the spirit of death now in the name of Jesus. I come against grim reaper spirits. I, I come against spirits of darkness. I come against spirits of suicide right now. I, I come against um, manic depressive depressive episodes in the name of Jesus. I'm praying for somebody's mind right now. Father, I come against uh, manic depressive, um, manic depressive 
It's like it comes upon you quickly. I come against it now in the name of Jesus. Episodes. I come against manic depressive episodes now in the name of Jesus. I rebuke the spirit of depression off of your mind. Let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus. Take on the mind of Christ. The Philippians says, think on these things. I want to talk to you that, that are dealing with depression right now. Think on these things. Listen, what is it, uh, quickly, what is it that causes people to become depressed? It's the thought of a certain thing or experience that has happened in their life uh, that, and when they think about it, it brings about, an, uh, it brings about a depression upon them. Thank you, Philippians 4 and 8. Thank you. It brings a depression upon them. And so this is why we need to take on the mind of Christ. Let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus. This is why we need to think on these things. This is why we need to, to meditate on the scripture day and night. This is why Psalm 119 and 11, that we need to hide the word in our, heart, in our hearts that we might not sin against him. When you have the word of God in your heart, come on, you can begin to speak the word over yourself and the word will have the preeminence in your life and not that di depressive thought that's, on, that's in your mind. Not that depressive thought that is in your mind. I rebuke the spirit of depression even now in the name of Jesus. Come on. Think about this. Come on. What is it? I don't know. I guess it's going to be some breakthrough today. I don't know what's going on. But think about, think about this. Got to this lesson. Something, there was something that happened to me, and I, and I didn't think it should have happened. And, and the more I thought about it, the angrier I got. Come on. The more I thought about it, the angrier I got. And so we need to be the, the possessors, the controllers of our thoughts. Come on. You control your thought life. Let me speak to that. You control your thought life. What are you getting angry? You're getting angry because you're thinking about what it is that that person has done to you. I'm the keeper of my thought life. I'm the guardian of my thought life. Come on. I'm the guardian of my thought life. I cast down, uh, according to 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 10, I cast down imaginations and every thought that exalts itself against my knowledge of God. See, you have to cast down imaginations and every thought that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Listen to me. So the negativity, the negativity Good morning, Louisiana. Thank you for being on for the first time. The negativity that is coming into your mind is trying to exalt itself against, come on, in opposition to, the against. The word oppos against means opposition, in opposition to what you already know. So you have to cast it down. I, I, what I, I, you would literally say, look, I cast down this thought. I cast down this thought that is trying to come against my knowledge of God because I know God is greater. Come on, our God is greater. You know that God is greater than your circumstance. So you have to begin to confess it and declare, God is greater than what I'm going through right now. Come on. God is greater than this stack of bills. I don't know, I'm prophesying to somebody right now. God is greater than that stack of bills on your table. Come on. The more you think about those bills, the, 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 the more problems and more confusion is being loosed in your mind. But I, I speak to the stack of bills. God is greater than the stack of bills that are on your table. God, you are greater than the stack of bills that are on my table. God, you are my provider. I may not see the way out of this, but I know that there is a supernatural provision. Come on. Take no thought for tomorrow, Matthew chapter 6, for tomorrow will take care of itself. He says, look at, the, look at the birds of the field. Look at the lilies that are in the field. They spin and they toil not, but yet your heavenly Father knows what they stand in need of. Change your confession and change your mind. Now, come on. Come on. Let, let me say that again. Change your confession and change your mind. Y'all need to be, somebody need to be putting that on the screen there. Change your confession and change your mind. When my confession changes, my mind changes. Come on. When my confession changes, my mind will change. 
My father knows what I stand in need of. Father, I know that you already know what I stand in need of. See, we get tricked by the enemy to thinking that what happens to us, God is not aware of what's happening. Now, this may sound real simple, but listen. But we get tricked by the enemy to think to think what's happened to us. God is not aware of what happens to us. So what we have to do is we need to gather our thoughts, not be surprised and say, God, before this happened. Come on. I'm, I'm back on these bills for a reason, for some reason. Before I got these stack of bills, God, you knew these bills were going to be on my table. And so since you knew that these bills were going to be on my table, God, you're going to make a way for me to get out of this situation that I'm in. And so, Father, I thank you that I put your kingdom first. Come on, we didn't even get down to 33 yet. I've put your kingdom first and your righteousness. And then the scripture says that all these previous things will be added onto me. All these things that are listed in Matthew chapter 6 shall be, in, uh, uh, shall be added onto me. Can, can one add one, one inch, one cubic to a stature by worrying? No, you cannot. That's what the scripture says in Matthew 6. But when you seek first the kingdom of God, he said, all these things shall be added unto me. God, I put your kingdom first. Now add to me what it is, what's needed. Come on. God, I put your kingdom first. Now add to me what is needed. Glory to God. Come on, don't waste, don't waste time thinking. Start speaking, start confessing, begin, begin to declare the word of God. Hallelujah. Begin to declare the word of God over your life. Come on, putting the kingdom first. God, I put your kingdom first. So I know that you're going to make a way for me. I know that you're going to make a way for me because I put the kingdom of God first. Ah, Daba. I put the kingdom of God first. I put the kingdom of God first. Father, I thank you that your kingdom is first. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yeba. Father, we thank you for this now. Mm. Thank you, Father. Father, we bless you. And Father, we, we praise you. We glorify you. We magnify you. Father, we thank you. Yes, Lord. We bless you, Father. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. We give you the praise. In Jesus' name, that you are first. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Listen, this is a word for somebody, and this is a need. Listen to me. I want you to hear me clearly. This is a need, and this is not a want. Someone needs transportation. It's very imperative for you to have this transportation because this transportation is connected to your employment. You need this transportation. It's connected to your employment, right? And God is going to give you favor for this. I'm, and I'm going to say this again because I'm not prophesying something because this is the desire of someone's heart. But the Lord told me this is a need for you. And it's imperative because it's connected to your employment. And I saw this person standing next to a, um, what do they call them? I saw you standing next to a mid-size, a mid-size SUV a mid-size SUV. The car, the, the, the SUV appeared to be black in color. And so, Father, I pray for this person now that your favor be released upon them because you knew what they stood in need of. As I spoke in Matthew chapter 3, Lord, you said in Matthew chapter 6, you said you know what we, have, we stand in need of. And so, Father, you showed it to me. Let the favor of God come upon them let this transition transaction be smooth. Let favor be upon them in the name of you. I pray they don't be at the car dealer all day. I pray that your favor moves quickly on their behalf in Jesus name. And I'm going to say this one more time. Yes. Amen. Glory to God. Somebody. I'm going to say it again. Yes. 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 Come on. Look at all these people coming in agreement with the prophetic word. All right. It's a need. I'm going to say it one more time. It's a need. It's not a want. It's not a desire. It's a need. Somebody said they had a dream about, if that's you, that's you. Walk in it. Walk towards your prophecy. That's something that always I, I tell people. 
I say walk towards your prophecy. You get a word, you begin to walk towards it. Walk towards that word. Don't let it just hang there. Walk towards it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Whoever that is, thank God. I, we, we believe, we we're, we're believe it with you. And we, we, we thank you. We believe you come back with a testimony. Glory to God. Send us a picture of it. Glory to God. Father, we thank you. Good morning. Good morning, Sister Penny. How are you doing? Father, we thank you. We bless you. We praise you this day. We find, Father, we thank you that you've gone before the people of God in prayer today and you're making their crooked places straight. You're making ways in the desert. You're making ways. You're making uh, streams in the desert. You're making a way, ways in the wilderness. Father, we thank you for that. Even now, in the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. They're still declaring for you for that vehicle. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory to God. And Father, I thank you for promotions. As I'm sitting here praying and meditating. Someone is talking about the promotion that they put in for. Someone put in for a promotion. Father, I thank you that this person has favor in the name of Jesus for this promotion that you put in. You put in for this promotion. Father, I thank you that they have favor. Oh, my battery is about to die, y'all. Let me see if I can get this thing to charge. Hold on. Uh-oh. All right, my battery is about to die. I'm going to keep on praying. I'm going to step out the picture and plug my, my phone in real quick. All right? I'm going to keep talking. Father, there's somebody that, that needs uh, uh, on their job. They apply for promotion. Father, I thank you that they will receive this promotion in the name of Jesus. You reveal it. God, you will bring it to pass in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. All right. All right, I'm back. Let's see. We got power. We got power. All right, praise God. All right, let me put this earpiece back on. We've got power. Glory to God. So somebody said I, I had to get up and plug my phone in. Sorry about that. Looks like somebody said that that might have been their daughter. But we thank you for it. Father, we thank you. We thank you. Pastor Ken, what's going on? God bless you. Pastor Ken Patterson is on, on Facebook. Uh, Facebook Live. That's the first international trip I've ever taken was to Izmir, Turkey. And it was through a prophetic word that I gave to this man that's on Facebook Live right now. Pastor Ken Patterson. God opened the door to the nations through a prophecy that I gave him when he was, matter of fact, I think um, uh, now Facebook Live goes out. Oh my God. Facebook Live always goes out on me. But through a prophetic word that I gave him, God opened up a door uh, for him, and then the door opened up for me to go over to Izmir, Turkey. Uh, all right, let me, I got to go back on Facebook Live. It went all right in the middle of me talking. I don't know if anybody else uses this, but it, Facebook Live always cuts off. It's like it's almost like it's on a timer. Let me put on here, I'm back. Father, I thank you, I praise you, I glorify you. I magnify you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Can you pray for the direction for my ministry? Put the name of your ministry on the screen, please. I always walk in integrity. Prophet 77. All right, I'm back. Facebook Live. Y'all come on back real quick. Jump back on Facebook Live. Okay, uh, somebody asked me about their ministry. Can you put the name of your ministry? New Vision Urban Ministry. The other morning I was praying for ministries and, and uh, prophesied over a lot of ministries. God was giving me uh, names of ministries uh, by word of knowledge. Many of them, um, New Vision Urban Ministries. All right, Periscope, let's just let's begin to pray for this ministry. Father, we thank you for New Vision Urban Ministries now in the name of Jesus. Let me know what city your ministry is in as well. Father, we thank you for New Vision Urban Ministries right now. Father, we bless them. We bless them. We bless them. We bless them. We bless them now in the name of Jesus. Decatur, Illinois. Father, we thank you for Decatur, Illinois. We thank you for that territory for them. We thank you.
thank you for uh, we thank you for Decatur, Illinois. We want to pray for that ministry first. And uh, Decatur, Illinois, Father, we thank you. And by the name, evidently, it's an, it's an urban ministry. It is, it is an outreach type of ministry. And I see uh, tremendous favor coming upon you as the weather begins to change. Um, spring to summer, tremendous favor uh, for you on uh, dealing with outreach. All right. I see unconventional strategies coming to you uh, for outreach. God is going to give you creative strategies to, to outreach and to evangelize even in that in that area. Um, I see you getting favor even with the local uh, local authorities. There's favor coming upon you and that yes. And so that there will there is going to be uh, a lot of movement going on uh, in this season. In the summer, there's going to be a lot of I see a lot of events. I see a lot of things of that nature. Seek God. God is going to release a, a strategy that's going to cause unconventional strategy that's going to be a tremendous blessing to that community. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I tell you, I'll tell you one of my, um, I guess Pastor, Pastor Phillips is still on here. He got, gave him a, um, an insight to, um, and he did a ministry down in, and he's in Dublin, Georgia, called Coins for Christ. And they went to the laundromats in their region and they began to give out uh, quarters to those that were washing their clothes and took an opportunity to minister and to pray for them. So God will give you additional strategies to do. And that was a strategy that God gave him in, in his area. I remember, let me share this with you about evangelism real quick. Let me tell you this about the, uh, about strategies. God gave me a strategy. Greetings. Just inbox me. You're in Raleigh. Just inbox, inbox me on Facebook. My, Mark, M-A-R-C, middle initial T, May, M-A-Y. Inbox me on Facebook, Mark T. May. Or you can find our ministry, Violent Faith Ministries. The violent take it by force from Matthew 11 and 12. Violent Faith Ministries. It's, uh, you can connect me on Facebook and inbox me there. All right. I saw somebody from High Point, somebody from Raleigh. It's great, great to... Um, are on. Glory to God. Father, we bless you and we praise you. We glorify you. Um, and we give you the honor and the praise and the glory. Hallelujah. Let's just pray in the Holy Ghost for a minute before I let y'all go. Father, we bless you. Hallelujah. <laughs> Rabasite ribiando rubo sutu ribanda rada rubo sutu ramanda rada rubo sutu rada bandi ando rubo sutu rada bande briskiti rubo sutu ra Mariande baskito ramanda rada rubo sutu ramanda rada rubo sutu rada bande rio sete bre bandi ando rubo sutu ramanda rada rubo sutu ramanda rada rubo sutu biando rada rubo sutu braskatande rubo sutu rada bande when you don't know what to pray for as you are the spirit himself makes intercession with groanings that cannot be uttered. Raman deria bo kutu rebis rabashara. Bros kutu rabashkataske te bishkiti robon do rabashkitin deya. Shata raman do robo kutu re. Bras kate brabata ranamon do robo sara. Bras sata rebe kiti raman da radabo sutu raman da radabo sutu re. Bres kiti raman da radabo sutu raman da robo kutu radabasatari. So somebody said something about their business. So Father, we bless that business now. We bless that business now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Um, this may seem very simple. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Um, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. That's what I hear for the person uh, with the business. Begin to speak that over your business and begin to follow that. Let me go for some reason. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Let me see. Glory to God in all that ways. Uh, well, let's start with the verse 4 for that person. Somebody put it down 3, 5, and 6. But let's put also verse 4. So shalt thou find favor and good understanding. In the sight of the Lord and man, trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not to thine own understanding. In all thy ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. And so that, this is what for your business 
acknowledge God in everything that you are getting ready to do in your business. You know, sometimes we we do things, but we are not acknowledging him. And I believe that God will give you a uh, a prophetic insight into what to do, into what to do, into what to do. What type, who is this person? What type of business do you have? What type of business is it that you have? I believe that person said that they were in Atlanta area. We well, have to take authority over that religious spirit. Oh, wow. Oh, that's that. Okay. Glory to God. I did not see that. Okay. Towing. Okay. Let me tell you, sometimes you ask questions. Jesus asks questions. Glory to God. Now I can pray a little bit more effectively. Father, we thank you for this towing business even now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> What's going on, corn, up there in Detroit? You're just starting. Okay, now this makes sense. This is why I was seeing contracts. Okay. This is why I was seeing contracts. So what you need, God, you need God to give you the strategy on how to get contracts. Okay. Now, this is what's, this is what's going to be um, favorable for you is this. You're going you're gonna to need to connect with other towing companies, okay? And what I see happening is that I see you getting business from their overflow, okay? Connect with other, connect with other towing companies. I don't know if you know anyone else in the business or in the industry, maybe, you know, and I see you getting overflow business, okay? When they don't have drivers that are available, you will be able to connect with them and get their overflow business, their over some of their overflow business. Okay. I also see you. I don't know if you have been. Yes, I do. Okay. Well, that's what that's what that that is. That's going to be very important in the growth of what you're doing until you get established. That's going to be very important in what it is that you're doing. Okay. Yeah. All right. So that's going to be very important for what you're doing even in that region. Listen, I tell you, prophetic business consulting, that is a very, that's a very powerful tool. I think this is something that we, I, I, and I'm going to get off of here in a second. This is something that people don't understand. Through the prophetic, your business can become very successful. A friend of mine that is in another city that I hadn't, uh, only speak to them on Facebook. And they asked me to pray for their business. And so I did. And God gave me a word for them. I mean, this was months and months later. I got a word that told them to create a secondary business up under another name. Um, to create a secondary business under another name. It would be, um, and that there would be contracts that would come to her, subcontracts and things of that nature. And I was some more stuff to it. I don't remember everything that I told her, but interesting enough, she and about a week or two, I got a uh, instant message and they said, I researched what you said to me. She said, I was getting ready to go into business and partner with someone else. And I realized after you gave me that word, I began to research that if I would have went in business with him, I would have basically lost my business. And so the prophetic word intervened. All right. All right, so we bless you with your grant writing now in the name of Jesus. Well, listen, y'all, I'm going to have to get out of here. Thank y'all for joining me um, this morning. God bless you. Let me give you some shout-outs for those of you who just, just came on. I'm going to have to get out of here and get ready to run. Who we got on here? Praise God. Thank you, Jay Elaine One. Thanks for being on. Who else we got? I see we got Priscilla King Patterson on Facebook. Thank you. You're welcome. My apostles is down there in Atlanta. I'll be down in Atlanta. Christine from from Durham. Okay, great. Somebody from Durham. Thanks for being on. Thank you. 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 Thank you that y'all enjoyed it. We'll be back on tomorrow. Hopefully I'll be back on here tomorrow at six o'clock. <clears throat> six o'clock AM straight up. Yeah, I'm in Atlanta. Uh I haven't been there lately, but I will be in Atlanta more frequently real soon because I've got to go through Atlanta to go. I have a church 
one of my spiritual sons is in Dublin, Georgia, and I have to go through Atlanta to get to his church. All right, Mebin, God bless you in Mebin, South Carolina, Erica. Thank you so much for being on. Glory to God. We bless you. We bless you. Thank you. We don't have. Yes, thank you. Um, we have a conference that's coming up in Ginger Missions Conference. We have uh, representation of our ministers all over the world. They'll be coming from Uganda, Uganda, Nick uh, not Nicaragua, I'm sorry, I must be, U Uganda, uh, Kenya, Liberia, all over uh, the Philippines, Haiti, and many other places. I can't name them all. If you want Content you can get some information. Um, that's Mark M A R C T May M A Y, just like the month Mark T May on Facebook, and you can hit me with an inbox. Glory to God! Great, I, I want y'all to come. It's going to be this year. I mean, we had such a powerful move of the service on Sunday morning, it was a great shift in the, envir in, in, in the environment, in the atmosphere, and um, so. And Friday, my delegates from the other countries, um, those that attend those three days, will get. Um, we're going to issue them a certificate. All right, sure thing. Let me know. Like I said, you have the inbox. All right, so we're going to do that. I'm going to be getting that information out. Detroit.